The Samsung 950 Pro was the fastest consumer SSD on the market just two months ago. Now the 960 Pro and 960 Evo are on the market, and one of the things Samsung attempted to address was the tendency for these super high performance drives to get hot. All things considered, it actually takes a lot of abuse to push one of these drives to their thermal limit. A drive state which will result in throttling of its data speed to protect itself. As a resident of the great state of Texas, I've actually seen my drive throttle while doing not so typical activities on my PC. Add to that, it appears the newest firmware may actually attempt to protect the drive more so than before. And you can see I had a prime example of a first world problem on my hands. Welcome to the channel. This is Technoscope. The OB202 by OBHI connects to Google Voice to give you free phone service anywhere you have a broadband connection. Click the video card above or visit the link in the description below for the full review. The first thing I wanted to do was get an idea of the actual temps from the drive. But according to Puget Systems, the 950 Pro actually has two thermal sensors, one near the storage modules and one to control throttling. Unfortunately, the sensor that is red is actually the thermal sensor near the storage chips, not the control sensor. This basically means the temperatures I read from Corsair Link are not the temps that actually determine if the drive throttles or not. To read more on the research about Puget Systems, I have linked the article in the description below. Fortunately, the Angel Bird Wings PX1 cools the entire M.2, not just the controller. Performance is still relative, if not exact. Installed in a similar PCIe to M.2 adapter card with no heat sink, I read idle temps at 48 degrees Celsius. This is after a boot of the system, with the system sitting idle for 10 minutes. After making this observation, I ran idle disk benchmark, set the total length to two gigabytes, and ran the test. Seconds after starting the test, the temp of the drive jumped 10 degrees and eventually maxed out at 71 degrees Celsius. I noticed the temps jumped the highest on the largest transfers, so I restricted the bench to those tests and ran it over and over, attempting to push the temps as high as they would go. After only two tests, I was able to get the drive to max out at 74 degrees C. I ran two more tests following that and the temps never went any higher. This is potentially the throttle point, but it's unclear to me without better ways of measuring everything. After pulling the 950 Pro and removing the front side label sticker so the chips would make direct contact with the thermal strips, I installed it into the PX1. There was an immediate improvement in temperatures. The drive idled five degrees cooler than without the PX1 heat sink. I let it idle for at least 10 minutes and then I ran the same exact test as before. This time the numbers were much more impressive. The highest I could push the temps with the PX1 installed was 49 degrees C. I even ran the bench with the large transfers over and over and over and the temps would not go any higher. As for the unit itself, the heat sink covers the M.2 in a sort of backwards way from how, to, how we normally think of them. The black cover has the fins on the side that faces the M.2. The cooler has air vanes that allow air flow 
of the case fans to push air from inside the case through the fans and out the rear through a silver plate I really wish was black. The extra holes on the rear plate allow airflow across the exposed side of the heat sink and exit the rear as well. I don't know if this unit really improves performance of the drive any, but it feels like the computer boots faster and opens apps faster, but that could all be the placebo effect. Hopefully someone that can control the environment much more than myself will soon test this unit. So in, conclu in conclusion, does the Angel Bird Wings PX1 do what it sets out to do, which is keeping your high performance end up to drive cool? Absolutely. Does it improve performance? That's still the undetermined, but if you can keep your controller on your expensive NVMe M.2 running cooler, you should definitely do it. If you'd like to buy the Angel Bird Wings PX1, using my link in the description below helps, helps me out a great deal. I hope this video helps you with your build and answers any questions you may have had about the Angel Bird Wings PX1. If you have any questions, I didn't answer or if you have any suggestions for my next video please leave those in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video my name is elemento and this is technoscope technoscope is a twisted curve production